Hello all, it's me, Andy from Blitz Gaming. I hope we're having a great day. Today, we've got a new review on a new motherboard. MSI Mag B560M Bazooka. So this is Intel's uh, 1200 socket motherboard, latest and greatest. So, let's have a look. Bazooka motherboard. Does it shoot bullets or missiles? Okay. A motherboard. It's heavy, uh, so that means it's got some chunky heat sinks. MSI logo badge. Join the MSI reward program. Quick installation guide. MSI registration card. A Frisbee, no, a DVD ROM. For drivers and utilities. Now I always find these are out of date. So I always download the latest ones off the net. Anyway, even when I had a DVD on drum drive. Um, a shout out theme to something to do with Steam, telling people to join the MSI club. A manual. Stickers. Why do I want stickers, army stickers with a motherboard? I don't know, maybe for your kids. I will certainly not stick them all over my case. I do not believe in going out and spending £150, pound, £200 pound on the case and stick a load of stickers on it. Maybe MSI, I think that's the normal these days, I don't know. A mini brochure about cases, monitors, mice, keyboards, a headset, graphic cards, which I love the way they don't actually put a price on there these days, because obviously it'd be a load of rubbish. Another registration card. Why well, we got a white one and a black one? I don't know. IO Shield. This one's black, which is good. Got black case, go well. SATA cable, one has that connection. One has a 45 degrees angle, the other one doesn't. M2 screws times two, because we've got two M2 sockets. So we've got the board. As I said, she's heavy. Um, I should have a thing here. Take it out with a decent look. Yeah, she's heavy. So she's got two heat sinks at the end of the day. One can see where they are. She's got one at the top, one on the side. And then they've got a heat sink for the M2 socket. On the generation 4 socket that is because they got generation 4 and generation 3 so they gave you one for the generation 4 i personally think they actually gave one for the generation 3 as well um at least it matches up then um so what we've got we've got ps2 usb2 dvi hdmi usb 3.2 Generation 2, so that's 10 gig. USB 3.2, Generation 1, uh, 5 gig. 2.5 gig of LAN. Microphone, speakers, front speakers. So we've got right on the side, we have the headers of audio. RGB uh, speaker speaker attachment um, a comport which I don't understand why they keep putting comports on boards these days is obviously I think personally I think I should just do a business line on motherboards instead of adding them all to to gaming boards where personally I mean if that comes to five pound 
having these extra f features, I'd rather have five pounds taken off. At the end of the day, um, I don't want to pay extra for stuff I'm never going to use. So it's got USB 2, um, two headers, so you've got two headers for two USB, uh, USB 3 header, yeah, so you can actually attach to your front case. Um, WT1 header for front panel. We also got a rainbow RGB. I don't know what the difference between the rainbow one is and the standard one. Well, one's got four pins, one's got three pins. The rainbow one must be an MSI thing. Uh, the other one must, I would have thought, must be third party. I don't know really, I've not really come across that before. I don't use MSI balls that often. So we've got a TPM uh, header. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. No, I can never remember what it's called. No. The TPM, <laughs> the actual name of it. The trusted platform module, yeah, which is needed for Windows 11. But, um, obviously we've got the 560 chipset, like the H510 or the Z chipset after this one. You also got Intel's PTT uh, platform trusted technology, which does the same thing, even though the actual module does a better job. Um, I won't worry about it unless you're really security mad. Yeah, just stay with the Intel stuff. It works perfectly with Windows 11. I've reject tested it, and I did a 33, 34 game test run. So to just show you that it works. On the last motherboard, we had. Um, but yeah, so we've got armor plating over the PCI Express 16 socket. I don't know why, I, I personally I've never broken one. But I suppose it's supposed to be there for, well, Tsunami Mother Ball, because it's in nice green camouflage, or khaki green camouflage. Um, big bazooka sticker on the chipset sticker, the chip chipset. Um, Itself. So we've got six SATA ports and a day, two or well, four of them are stacked, two of them are separate. Now, the reason why I should think they're separate when you're using the generation four, you probably find two of these don't work. Um, because obviously, you're, you get maximum bandwidth and it's going to take uh, power away from the, the SATA. You got um, system fan. There's also another system fan here. Got a pump fan and a CPU fan header. Obviously the CPU in the middle. We've got four DDR4 DIN sockets, two different colours, one black, well two black, two green. So in theory, it's dual channel, you just plug them in the green. Um, at the end of the day, but check your manual because mobile manufacturers do change things around. Uh, we've got a 24 pin power, 8 pin power model. There's no others on there, it's just 8 pin. At the end of the day, no extra for 4 pin, it's just 8 pin on its own. So, well, it's a nice board. As it says, it's, it's quite heavy uh, with these chunky sinks on. Um, pull that back like that, so you can have a look. I should put the phase up um, now. Uh, a picture off their website, and it is 5 plus 2 plus 1 dual rail power system. It's also a six layer, layer PCB. If they say it is a six layer, it looks quite thin to me, but they say it's six layer. Um, the M2 is an M key version, and what we'll talk about the USB generation one and generation two. What else have I missed? It supports 128 gig of memory. Um, what's the chance you put 128 gig of memory on here? Probably very slim, not unless you're doing lots of CAD work, I suppose. In, making videos like me, but even I don't know I have 128 gig of memory, even when I'm making videos. So it supports dual channel. Now this gets me here, it says, says it supports overclocking memory up to 5,066 megahertz. I thought, 
Well, I ain't come across memory that high, but if MSI actually managed to get it to go that high and tested it, I mean, surely they must have had a mod, a mod to go that high, or did they just come out with a load of fabrication saying, well, no, it goes to 5,066. Well, I, I said, I, I've never seen a module that high yet. Um, supports XX, XMP, so you stick your modules in there, go to BIOS, turn on XMP, and it automatically clocks your, your memory to the maximum speed uh, what you bought. It's also got Intel Optane support. Bonus. It has EZ RGB debugging mode, so it's got four lights. Um, when I'll go white or go out, means it's, it works perfectly and goes. If you've got anything come up red, it's bad news. So that means you've got to find out what's wrong. It does not support USB C, which is, I think is a bit stupid if you ask me. I mean, they give you um, a pump connector. So I do expect you to have some pretty meaty gaming system, but then I don't give you USB C. Um, bit bizarre, really. Now, it's got no flash button on the board, so if you want to flash it, uh, so for, this, for instance, if, you, if you've got this bar to have all the uh, CPU settings in the BIOS, now let's say they bring out a new one, unless you've got a CPU already fitted, you won't be able to update the BIOS because they haven't added a button on the side. Now, if you don't know what I mean, it's basically on some boards, you download the BIOS, you put on a USB stick, plug into the USB, press the button, you don't have to have the CPU, so the CPU, in case you ain't got one, you press the button, it up, updates your motherboard to the latest and greatest, and then you're ready to go, put your CPU in. So, well, I know it's only a £100 motherboard, yes, I got this on Amazon for £100, um, it does go up to about £125, what that is in dollars, I don't know, I should look it up and put it on the screen, in a second, that's about it, it comes with the Realtek um, 897 codec, now that's not the latest one, I've actually noticed there's, a, there's one slightly higher, it came out I think this year, and they, but they're all very, very similar to each other. And then they, um, if you're playing games, you ain't gonna worry about it. I mean, if you want perfect sound, you're gonna buy a sound card. It's as simple as that, really. But yeah, this is the MSI B560M Bazooka Mag Edition. Um, so Micro ATS Gold, and then they, like I said it's heavy, it's well built, comes with a back plate. What can I say? Just a review. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. And then, Dave, any comments, please leave down below. That is all, and it out.